Uh, hey, what's up, guys? I woke up to this bullshit. Hold on. So, let's see. Trisha, she's had a, a rough, rough past. Um, sometimes I just think she's a liar and don't trust her. If you guys uh, also want to donate, Streamlabs link down below. YouTube is demonetizing everyone. <laughs> so if you want to help out, that'd be awesome. Anyways, let's get into the video. So let's go ahead and pretty much get this out the way and with how I feel about, you know, Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna always struck me as this girl that's just there in the YouTube community. And she seems like she tries so hard to be a YouTuber. Like, yes, yeah, she's a successful YouTuber, but it, it, it just every time I watch her, it doesn't feel like I'm watching a genuine tuber. You know, like I feel like I'm watching someone try to be. And like I said, anyone who tries to be a YouTuber can be a YouTuber. Don't get me wrong. Like, you will make money if you try, but it just feels so, it doesn't feel, it, you, I can't explain it, to be honest with you. Uh, she's just there. She has really no talent. It's, it's crazy. And like I said, nothing wrong with Gabby Hatter. I think what she's done is cool. I just think that if she's harassing people in the community, she's done this to Rice Gum. Apparently, she's doing it to Trisha. I mean, this is why I don't hang with fucking YouTubers. I don't like hanging around YouTubers because YouTubers are treacherous. They want to bring you down with them. Like, if they're miserable, they want to come down with you. I, like, the best YouTubers you've seen are the ones that stay to themselves. I can name a couple hundred you know, that actually just don't fucking fuck with anybody. I'm one of those YouTubers too. Like, I really don't like collaborations. I don't like messing with anybody. If you are, if we are not doing like a service or something, don't, don't, don't talk to me. You're not doing that. So it, it's one of those things. Um, anyways, let's get right into this video. I am making this video today for one reason and one reason only is because I want this drama to stop. This person keeps thinking I am talking shit about them. I get constant texts. I've met this person on two occasions. On two occasions I met this person. One time when she asked to come to my birthday party and I said yes. I talked to her for two seconds at my birthday party. And actually I think that's the only time I ever met her. Oh, and at Joey Graceffa's Secret Santa Party last year. Those are the only two times I've met this YouTuber. Her name is Gabbiana. And look, here's the thing. First and foremost, yes. She's a freaking drama queen. I'm a freaking drama queen. So I'm going to just put this out there and tell her my issues with her because I keep texting her, telling me to leave me alone, that I literally never think about her. And she literally responded, you talk about me all the time. I don't think about her ever. When her name gets brought up, like it did this past week, with a friend of mine, that a mutual friend that asked about her, I literally just said, this is the story. And I'm going to tell you guys the story once and for all. I have one issue with Gabby Hanna. I like her videos. I like her music. I've sang her songs on my Instagram story. She seems fine. I actually don't even know the girl. I don't know her. I've met her on two occasions for seconds like I've talked to her for seconds she's reached out to me a bunch of times she's tried to be my friend like even during my breakdown this year she was like trying to reach out to you so I finally had to be honest with her I told her what I tell everybody because it's one of the scummiest lowest things that has ever happened to me and she's never once apologized she thinks it's totally fine and I'll read you the text of what she said now again saying like you have issues if you think me concerned about a friend's health is like low no it's low it's scummy I don't know this girl this is my issue with her and just for the record and I'm not gonna throw anyone else out of the bus a lot of people don't like her low-key behind the scenes a lot of people don't like her a lot of people probably don't like me probably so yeah I mean a lot of people like here's the thing I give no fucks if anyone likes me period like people want you to like it's so weird because people want like YouTube is a internet platform it's a freelance platform you use it if you make a lot of money. If not, you make some money, cool, whatever it happens. But I don't think it's good to try to make friends with all these other freelancers, in my opinion, because they're like, I mean, they treat YouTube like it's like the fucking music industry. Like, if you don't have enough followers, why are you, why are you talking to me? It's just 
it's got all this bullshit going on. And you really just gotta... I'd rather not have friends on YouTube that are YouTubers. I've met YouTubers and I've been friends with YouTubers and every time I've gotten burned. And that's why I don't... I really don't like... I just don't... I don't like messing with the YouTube community like that. Like, it, in terms of the viewers in my community, I love get streaming. I love playing video games. I love uploading. But, like, as far as being a part of it, like, the culture, if it's not, like, on Reddit or something, I don't want to, like, go to fucking YouTuber parties. Like, everyone's so fake. It's not It's not real. Like, I, I do not. I don't care if I become a big YouTuber or not. I mean, maybe I have to go to some event and meet these YouTubers, but don't ask me to be your fucking friend. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so much people talk shit. I don't, I don't care. I just keep it rolling. I'm going through so much shit right now. My friend from Boston came out to stay with me because like, I had cops here at my house. Like I have just so much shit happening. Like so much personal shit in my life, like in my actual real serious life that I don't give a shit about this drama. And I'm so sick of her sending me pages of texts being like, why do you constantly talk shit about me? Keep in mind, she texted, Gabby texted my other friend Gabby from Pennsylvania and said, hey, you just hung out with Trisha. Tell me the truth. Does she talk shit about me? To which Gabby replied, yeah, she said you didn't like her. And so I was pissed at Gabby because I was like, why would you even like bring something like that up? I told you this, like, whatever. Also, would say it to her face, and I will say it in a video. So, Gabby Hanna, if you want this attention and you think I just want to talk so much about you, this is it. My only video. The only thing I ever think about Gabby Hanna because I don't think about her. Yeah, I see her music videos, which I'm like, okay, cool video. Like, cool girl. Like, and she has. She's been nice to me here and there. But then sometimes she like goes off. She thinks she, one time she texted me because she thought I was throwing shade at her through a video because I said someone asked for my address and I'm not friends with them. And it wasn't the she was it wasn't her that I was talking about. It was like someone else that I didn't know. But she like thinks everything is about her. Everything's about her. Well, Gabby, no. This is about you, so there you go. You want the attention. You think I only talk about you and everything's about you. This is a story that happened years ago, and I'm going to tell it now because this is my only issue with Gabby Hanna. This is the only thing I've ever said to people. I've said it to people about her when they bring her up, and I said, this is why I don't trust Gabby Hanna. That's it. <laughs> this why? is it. This is it for me, like I said. Why I don't trust Gabby Hanna. Perfect title. No personal, nothing, nothing against her. I think we have a lot of similar issues, so like... That's cool, but this is not cool because this is one thing I don't do. This is one thing I don't do. I don't lie on people's sexual health. Okay, so hold on, hold she on. To How old is Gabby Hanna? How old is she? I gotta look this up. Gabby Hanna age. What the fuck? She's 28 years old and acting like this? What's wrong with you people? She's 28 years old. You know, sent your old, about to be in your 30s head ass all somewhere with all this drama. What is going on? You, you're about to be 30 and you're acting like a little bitch. <laughs> what? Hold on. <laughs> okay. When me and Jason started hooking up in 2017, I did a video called like YouTubers I've hooked up with. She, by the clues, guessed that I was hooking up with Jason. I was. She texted Jason and she told Jason, or I guess, I don't know if she texted him or told him in person, but basically she told him, hey, be careful, Trish has herpes and you're sleeping with her. Whoa, 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 dude, why is she acting? Who does that? Let them find out for themselves. <laughs> what the fuck? Gabby, have we slept together? Did I show you my STD results? Ha are you my doctor? Did you swab my vagina? In what world is it okay? And she keeps telling me a close friend <sighs> told me. Tell me who? Bitch, tell me who? What close friend? I, I don't think I have any close friends. Last I checked, I have no friends. I'm not friendless bitch on what? YouTube. And I guess I keep making videos like this. I'll continue to be a friendless bitch. And that's just what it is. I don't care. But I don't like people doing this. I don't like people lying on me. I don't like people starting drama. Like, you guys do not believe the day I had today. I literally asked her so many times to leave me alone. She is so, so, like, like, wouldn't. She goes, if you think it's low to tell people you heard about an incurable disease, KK, you have an issue for real. Yes, because an incurable disease that I don't have, that you don't know I have, that you have no right to tell someone I have. Even if you fucking heard it was HIV positive, you have no right to do that. 
you don't know what me and Jason talk about, my sexual history. Like, what the fuck? And she, came, she never once apologized. She goes, well, I'm just looking out for a concerned friend. She had sent me messages on messages, like, so much. She was like, I gotta ask this because enough is enough. Why do you talk shit to people? I don't like you. I literally never show you anything except love and kindness and stuff. It's always in person through text and DM. I've always before you reach out. Like, here. So why do you feel the need to spread lies about me and tell people like, I don't like you? It was so beyond me. Yeah, yeah that me. is fucked up, dude. Like, I'm on the camera and nobody said it. fucked up. Like, dude, who does that? Oh my gosh, dude. That's wild. That's wild. How do you, how do you put someone's business out there like that? Don't like me. I say the truth. And I DM'd all this to Gabby like about six months ago and she goes, yeah. She's I said wild. that. Like I'm looking out for a friend and I was like, okay girl, like if that's how you see it, cool. Like we have whatever. That's all. This is the only thing I've ever said to people and I'm saying it in public so she hears it. This is my only issue. This is the only thing I've ever said. Anyone who I've ever talked to this about, maybe three people in my entire life who bring up Gabby because they have their own issues with Gabby and have played me their own audio messages of Gabby cursing people out because they don't have the right food or whatever the case is. Like Okay, so I share my story Wait, too. She cursed people and, out because she they didn't get the right food. What? Bitch, what are you? Are you the queen of England? Who do you think you are? Kim Kardashian, like she's a drama queen, doesn't even do that shit. Like, dude, you you curse out people because they didn't bring the right food. You're you're a scumbag. I'm, you're trash. And here's the thing: I tell people I don't know the girl. Met her twice. Talked to her for maybe maybe two minutes tops at the Christmas party, and maybe two seconds top at my birthday party. This is the bad thing about YouTube. So YouTube has allowed everyone to be able to make money online, pretty much, or create a business online, and you get all kinds of personalities. The problem is some personalities shouldn't have that much access or power. So now we're living in a time where internet personalities, they make a lot of money, but some of these personalities behind the scenes are fucked up. They are messed up. Like they are screwed up. See, like, I'm not a perfect person. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm the nicest or the the a flawless person everyone has done stupid shit bad shit or whatever but this she's acting like she's better than you and that that's that i don't know hopefully she becomes a better person but yelling at people over food orders is insane yes you might get upset but don't curse them out just reorder or report it to a supervisor if this doordash calls support like what wow Anyways, the other Gabby texted me what she texted to Gabby, and Gabby was the one who reached out to, so Gabby Hannah reached out to Gabby Martino and was like, hey, you were hanging out with Trisha. Like, she, that already screams insecurities. She saw that, and the first thing was like, did Trisha talk shit? You know, if people talk shit about me, I, I don't care. Let them talk shit about me. Like, I'm sure people talk shit about me. Like, okay. And you know what? Here's the thing. If I talk shit about you, it's probably going to be on the internet. Like, because I just don't care that much. And then even when I said to her, I was like, I mean, there's just so many texts. I'm like, please don't text me again. Blah, blah, blah. I said, my life and mental wealth is, mental well-being is already shaky. Do not need any more drama. I said, I'm not, I'm no longer responding to this. Sorry if you're upset. If I felt whatever. But I tell people about my interactions. I said, that was the scummiest thing anyone's ever said about me. No one has ever, ever talked talk to anyone else about my sexual history, my vagina, my STDs. I am an open book. I will tell people what I have, when I have, when I have sex with them. Like, I'm an open book. But the fact that she told, there's so many stories I've heard. And this is just my story I'm telling you. Everyone else's story, they can remain anonymous. If that's the wild me. shit is that, like, because Trisha has always been open with her sexual, her, like, sexual intentions and, like, who she messes with. Like, I don't know. If she really did have this stuff, I think it would spread around in the industry, but this is what they get for being so into drama. Like, it's not just so much Gabby Hanna's fault. It's like, this is a fucking, it's just so fucking weird. Like, why are you on YouTube? This is like, it's crazy because she set herself up for this. So, Trisha created an image of being that girl that's freaky and nasty or whatever. And now that someone, another YouTuber is using that against her. It's actually pretty sad. It's like, 
it shouldn't be that way, but it, it's happening, you know. What they want to do keep out drama i get it because also me i don't want to have drama with this person she has drama with everybody too so it's like i get it like i don't want to i don't want to be that but i've heard so many stories there are so many actual stories where she's like i don't know what happened nothing happened this is just like i don't know like i hate that i hate when people are victims because here's the thing yes i lose a lot of people in my life but i own up to my shit i apologize i own up to it i'm like yes i'm crazy this happened like oh my gosh i'm stupid whatever the case is i own up to it to her to be like I don't know why people don't like me. Like, I don't understand. And she even said that in this one. She goes, I'm so good to people and I'm tired of being shitted on. I was like, you're not. You're lying about someone you don't even know. We don't even know each other. And at this time when she told Jason, we weren't even dating. So this was before the Christmas party. So I met her one time for two seconds at my birthday party. Oh, yeah. What? There's a reason that group and a lot of other groups don't talk to her anymore. That's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> I mean, look, look what Gabby did to fucking Rice though. Of course she's a piece of shit. Like, dude, she basically tried to lie on Rice though and make it seem like he was an abuser. Now, he did break her phone, but... Dude, Gabby, you can't trust her. You can't... Well, I don't think you can trust anybody in the YouTube game at this point. Like, I don't... I honestly feel like you can't be friends with anyone in the YouTube game now. It's not the same as it used to be when PewDiePie and all of them started. The YouTube game is a very different place now. You know, it's all about, okay, who's got the most numbers? If you ain't got no numbers, why are you talking to me type of stuff? That, that's where we're at in the YouTube game. So, uh, that's all I really can say. I mean, that, that's where we are. I wish it was a lot. Oh, I'm gonna say, I have never been more upset. My friend just got here from Boston and I was like boiling on the couch. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I just have to put this out here because I have never had someone like lie on me. Lie on yourself. Like, do your own drama. You know, like, say people scratch you over a phone. Whatever the case is, don't lie on me. Don't lie on me. If you want to know I have an issue, I'll say it to the world, which I'm doing right now. This is my issue with Gabby Hanna. This is the only thing I'll ever talk about her. I don't know her. I like her videos. I like her music. What was the other thing she said? She said that I, I say she doesn't, I tell people she doesn't like me. I, apparently, she, I guess she likes me probably now. She doesn't. I don't know. I never said that. I don't talk about her. Never think about her. And then I even said, like, I was like, look, Gabby, I'm like, I brought up what I said. I said, I don't talk about you anyone because I don't think about you ever. And then she goes, and you bring me up constantly. I hear about it constantly. Girl, because you're asking people. Like, you're thinking about it constantly. Like, if I'm hanging out with someone, you're like, you're trying to talk about me? Like, oh, I'm boiling. My blood is boiling. I'm so, I just never, like, of all the shit that's happening in my life right now, freaking Gabby Hannah, who's in my phone as Gabby Ignore, because I just cannot deal with this anymore as someone who also struggles from she talks about herself her own mental health struggles and anxiety and also, why are you texting me about this if someone doesn't like you girl keep it freaking moving keep it moving you know how many people don't like me or talk shit about me or probably lie on me or whatever keep it freaking moving holy Dude, she, shit Gabby Hanna has problems I, I don't care like I said I know I'm like trying to, I'm trying to I'm trying Dude, to say why the fuck does she even care what people think about her like Dude, you're a fucking internet personality. Do you know how many people fuck with you on a daily basis? Why do you care what people think? This is what I'm talking about when I say YouTube, like, it's not good for certain people. They can't handle it. They can't handle it. They just, they just can't. Dude. They just can't handle it. It is what it is. Oh, a blue backpack. Awesome. Playing Apex. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. You piece of shit. Fuck this game, dude. All right. The uh, drama, like if any drama, it's on me. The drama's on that me. Was that on me. Bullshit. Whatever, you know. But I am not gonna take someone lying on me. I'm not gonna take someone constantly texting me and harassing me and sending me DMs about stupid, like literally that one DM. Like, oh, I think you were shading me in this video. And she even said something like, I don't need your followers. Like, I don't need your help promoting my books and stuff like that. I was like, <sighs> the other Gabby's texting me now because I was and I was a little annoyed. Gabby DeMartino is so sweet, and I was so annoyed that she would. I'm like, why would you even? And she even asked, asked Gabby De Martino, like, can I, t can I talk to Trisha about this? And Gabby's like, no, I don't want to be involved. And what did she do? She freaking texts me. 
Gabby's a sweet girl, and I'm sure she was just like, you know, she just said, like, Trisha said she doesn't like you, which I, that was not what I said. I said, I didn't say Gabby doesn't like me. I said, there's a long story behind it, and I do tell people this story. There's three people I've told this story to, and now I'm telling it to the whole internet, Gabby Hanna. This is why I don't mess with you, because I don't trust you, which is fine. You cannot like me. There's a lot of people who don't trust me. I get it. I get it. I own it. Like, that's fine. But what? I have the DMs. Like, I'm going to screenshot right now because you know she's going to be unsending that shit all day long. I have freaking DMs of Gabby being like, yeah. <laughs> she said, you know she's going to be unsending that shit all day long. She said, I got the receipts. She said, I got the receipts, dude. Oh, my gosh, dude. YouTube is getting so dramatic. Like, bro, that shit right there was funny. That was funny. I will say all of these people. That was funny, bro. <sighs> of being like, yeah, I did tell him that. Like, yeah, this did happen. Like, what? And just like not backing down, being like, that's my friend. I'm gonna look out for my friend. No, you don't talk about sexual health to anybody. Like, no matter how, like, unless we fucked Gabby and you caught something for which is it's just not the case I am so honest to a point and I, I've DM'd with her I've been nice with her like I that's the thing I'm like you know what I'll it was this year when I did the whole thing yeah May 29th is when I said because she asked me why don't you reach out to me and I said on if I'm being honest with you you told Jason I had herpes and that because we had sex he had herpes that is the reason I don't respond way before we started dated I don't have herpes if I did I'd be an open book about it and if I did it's also no one's business but mine and my partners she goes first of all I didn't tell Jason you had herpes I told him a very close friend to you told me this so she heard it from a friend <sighs> okay and I told him to make sure he's safe this is not <laughs> Gabby this is Jason is a 45 year old man. I'm a 30 year old woman. We are having sex. You do not know the conditions of any. You don't know Jason's sexual health. You don't know my sexual health. This is why people don't mess with you, Gabby. I know why people don't mess with me. This is your reality call for people, why people don't mess with you. If you find out your friend was having unprotected sex with someone, you told She me. said, This is your re reality check why no one messes with you. All right, I'm done listening to this. As you can tell, it's boring and stupid, it's childish. But uh, I do agree with her, Trisha. Like, like, Gabby, stop, stop it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.